Fine. But then McLean has never seen a fighter as refined and finished as Vladimir Klitschko. None of us may have seen a big man as refined and finished as Klitschko, who incidentally looks like a larger Eastern European version of the handsome Oscar De La Hoya. Last week, Klitschko's brother Vitaly knocked out American Larry Donald in Dortmund, Germany, to set himself up for a possible shot against Lennox Lewis in the spring. Vladimir, for his part, says he'll never fight his brother. So if Vitaly beats Lewis, is the Klitschko Express toward the heavyweight championship inevitably derailed? It would be sidetracked for a while, and it would depend then on whether he can become one of the most rare things in boxing, a European fighter who is a big gate attraction in the U.S. He may very well be on his way. There are few greater spectacles in our sport than Vladimir Klitschko on the attack. We'll see if Jamil McLean will be able to handle it here tonight. And now let's go to ring announcer Lupe Contreras for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the main event of the evening. Being brought to you by Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated in association with Universum, Cedric Kushner Promotions, The King of Beers, Budweiser, and HBO. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. Once again, being sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Dr. Luther Mack, Executive Director Mark Rettner. When the bell rings, the gentleman in charge of scoring will be judges Dwayne Ford, Jerry Roth, and Nelson Vasquez. The referee, Jay Nady. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come to find out who is El Mas Macho. In the blue corner, he is a challenger. He steps into the ring wearing red trunks trimmed in silver and weighing in at 263 pounds. As a professional, he maintains an impressive record consisting of 28 victories with just two defeats, three draws, and 16 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Port Jefferson, New York, Jamil Big Time McFly. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner. He is the defending champion and steps into the ring wearing red trunks trimmed in gold and weighing in at 240 pounds. With an impressive record consisting of 39 victories with one lone defeat and 36 of his victories coming by way of knockout. He is the defending WBO heavyweight champion of the world from Kiev, Ukraine, the steel hammer, Vladimir Klitschko. That belt, that belt goes to him. You guys have any questions? Okay, obey my commands. And specifically, I don't want you to hit and hold. If I say break, break cleanly. Step back. Defend yourself at all times. Touch glove now and let's go to work. Good luck. Many observers thought Best this fight was premature for McLean. His answer, sometimes the biggest risk is not taking a risk. Will he take the risks now in the ring? As they stood in the center of the ring, Klitschko tried to stare McCline down, and McCline elected not to meet Vladimir's gaze. Whenever I see one guy trying to stare the other down, that means something is missing out of something. When you're good, so you, you don't prefer need... the guy who doesn't meet his gaze? Two Tyrannosaurus Rexes in red trunks. 6-6 six, six against 6-6. Six, six. First big test of Vladimir's athletic talent because Jamil is the same kind of athlete. Well, Vladimir's pause, he's in position to throw a big right at all times. Always in position, so you gotta be careful when you're fighting a guy like that. 
when you're fighting a puncher, you got to move him out of position, make him get on his toes, step out, step in. A climb, trying to work at a fast pace from the opening bell. His plan is to try to force Klitschko to fight at a faster tempo than he is used to. Klitschko likes to be relaxed in there. Jab, jab, look for a chance to throw the power shot. Klein is going to have to win the jabbing contest if he's going to impose his will on Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, he's starting off with his left jab, McLean. Klitschko is easy to hit with a left jab, but not so easy to hit with right hands. Why is that, George? For some reason, big guys, they're so tall, they can't duck, bob, and weave, so they have a tendency you just can't miss them if you just throw up their chest. He's kind of tall to learn that art of bobbing and weaving. Both guys showing head movement in the first round. Both guys reacting to feints, respecting each other's power. Vladimir looking upstairs, but he landed a right hand to the body. This goal should get in a good right hand just to get respect out of this man early. <laughs> Klein ducking so hard at the feint. You wonder if he shows Vladimir too much respect. Well, Klein looks very tight, Jim. And this is a time you better be tight when you're in a ring against a puncher like this. <laughs> tight is what you need. And now Vladimir knocking Jamil back as he fires the right hand through the guard. Klitschko much more relaxed than McLean, who seems all wound up. McLean finally lands a right hand punch to the body after having been short with most of his jabs. And if you're Vladimir, you don't want to be too relaxed because the three minutes is not a long time to get things going. Fritz, Fritzko's already found out that McCline will go for his feints, George. What does he, he mean? He just threw a right hand to the body. Second one. Second good right hand to the body. Those are, those are the punches that count most. And now Vladimir leads with the left hook. Another one of his great assets. He can jab. He can turn the jab over into a hook. He can lead with the hook. Very versatile with the left hand. Again, McCline short with his jab. McClain's going to be have some effects over this fight. He's better start jabbing and keep that jab going. The only effective punch Stop. against Chris hey, step back. Left step jab. Back. McClain jumping in behind the left hook there. This trip. One jabs, but short with 28 of them. Klitschko blocks McClain's first jab the second round with his gloves. The tail of the tape showed only a one and a half inch reach advantage, but early on it's looked as though it's easy for Vladimir to cover the get, or the distance and not so easy for Jamil. The one thing McLeod has going for him, he's been in the ring uh, at sparring with these old dangerous big guys, so he, he knows what to do. Respect First right hand shot grazes Glitchko, keep going. You gotta give them a lot of respect, but if you let them throw their shots, you can always get them after they get done. Vladimir Klitschko has not been hit by a really big right-hand puncher. Now, McClang's detractors say he's not a really big puncher, but he is a really big man. So it'll be interesting to see what happens if he tags Vladimir Klitschko. Get into a punching battle with Klitschko, you've done wrong tonight. You've got to hit him when he's resting. Big guys throw three or four shots, and they got to settle down and get their win back. That's when you got to fight them. And that's what McClain is better do because he's acting like a little man. Stop. Break. He Step caught Tisco waiting for one right hand hard Stop. shot and he jumped on it. Sit but down. he missed the right hand after the left hand was partially blocked. Yeah, but Klitschko is sitting there waiting on the right hand and get flat-footed, and McClain is watching that, and he's jumping. Vladimir hasn't landed anything of significance here in the second round. Seemingly waiting for McClain's clock to run down. Right hand to the body again. Vladimir really hasn't thrown a right cross upstairs. He's thrown three rights to the body in two rounds. 
He's trying to be conservative with his right hand when he should have just been throwing him, Klitschko. Don't wait for a shot. You got the power. Just throw it. Well, I think he wants to get closer. No, he doesn't have to get close. He's, his arms can reach across the room. There it is. There's the right hand, and it landed. And McLean didn't like what he felt as he backs into the corner. Klitschko lines him up. See, that's when the big guys rest. And that's the only chance McLean has is to get him as soon as he throws those big shots. Too much oxygen is expelled. Again, McLean goes for Klitschko's feint. And again, Vladimir able to block McLean's output as round two comes to a close. Heavyweights here in Vegas tonight. In order to keep me in the the one sided copy box numbers through two. Here, here, here. And the body. Mix it up. Okay. Mix it up. All right? That's all I should do. Mix that jam up. Don't let him set up nothing on you. Be careful, he's going down a lot. He's dropping down his right hand, and then you have to go. Take your right hand, and be careful when he drops his head. And give him a lot of pressure. He's doing very good. For the most part, Klitschko is stepping into his punches. McLean steps back from his punches. One right hand by Klitschko upstairs, more of a glancing blow, but McLean so concerned about it that he backed into the corner anyway. Klitschko has got to remember being an Olympic champion, he's seen it all. He's seen the big ones, the tall ones, the punches, the jabbers. It's called to memory your experience. numbers Jamil McLean landed a total of nine punches Vladimir has never been hit with more than 13 punches in any one round in fight scored by copy box McLean's corner told him to go up and down with his jab he's following direction that's called going up and down the ladder right George well you just want to mix your jab up for some reason his corner wanted him to do it and he's doing it this old corner didn't give him a whole lot Klitschko fires the straight right hand. Klein sticks his jab in Klitschko's face as the distance between them now shortens in the third round. They're about six inches closer to one another, and that's why Vladimir's right hand to the body had impact. Klitschko only chink in arm is that he, he receives too many jabs. Waiting for that right hand will get you like that. Once you've had so many knockouts, you just seem to say, it doesn't matter if you jab me, I'm going to get you. Yeah, Ray Mercer was able to land his jab against Vladimir, and actually, he swelled up under both eyes in the second round. Then the swelling went down as the fight progressed. Vladimir has got to understand, it wouldn't be a crime for him to start boxing tonight. He's a skillful heavyweight. Move around, make this guy come to him a little bit. Gets in a quick little left hook after the two jabs. Another right hand to the body. McLean has got those eyes open just like some kind of radar. You don't like fighting guys who look at you like that. They look even down there, the eyes on your feet. McLean only now seems to be beginning to relax into the fight, George. Well, that's when he can get tagged, though. You don't relax when you're in there with a Klitschko. But his hands might release a little bit more freely than has been the case so far. McLean lands a left hand there. That's the hook. That's the power. Let go, let go. No, 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 no. We don't need that. Vladimir electing to lead twice with the hook rather than the jab. Why is a 263-pound man like McLean boxing like a lightweight, George? That's the way he feels in his mind. He's not a big man. Hyundai. Scored these first three rounds. Hup.
Okay, Jim. Three to nothing. Thirty to twenty-seven. Vladimir Klitschko. Much too smooth. Much too aggressive. Landed at you know Stop. scoring go, points go, with that back. left jab. Punch, so he's play. winning in a clean punch and an effective aggressiveness. But Klein, for his part, is trying to bust up Vladimir because the Europeans have this thing. All they know is adrenaline one to one thousand. They really don't utilize what American cut men use, and that's Avatine. So if Vladimir gets cut, he may be in trouble. You think you ought to hire an American cut man, Harold? Jim, there's absolutely no doubt about it. I've mentioned it to, to numerous people to try to get word to, to, the, to the Klitschko people because they're fighting at a disadvantage without question. We'll see if it becomes a factor in a fight. Someone has schooled McClan on carrying his right hand right on the side there, so it's hard to get him with a straight right hand. You gotta jab him to the body a lot. Make him move his right hand around so you can get him with a straight right hand. He hit him with he hit him with one right hand right down the pipe. And Vladimir busting Klitschko there, or check it, busting McClan there with the left hook. Vladimir has taken in the last two rounds to leading more frequently with the left hook than with the jab, George, because of the way McClan is holding his guard. Go. Right hands over the top by McCline. Get the crowd interested in the fight. Wow, Vladimir Klitschko should not be playing around with this guy. You better get him. And he goes after him. He's hurt. McCline is hurt. Seemingly with the intent of getting after him a little bit. A little blood from the nose now of Jamil McCline. He's Let's hurt. go. Almost painted him with the right hand He's there. He's hurt. He's hurt. Now he's going to take advantage of it. McCline suddenly standing still on his feet, and Klitschko goes after him. Left hook lands again. McCline so conscious of the straight right hand that Vladimir is able to bring his left hook around the guard. That's what happens. You spar a lot with these big heavyweights, and you're accustomed to being shaken up a few times. But you know, hey, I got another round. <laughs> this goes is showing some foot movement. Yes, good. good defense there. His good feet stood him in good stead as McCline came with the right hand over the top. <laughs> There's an abrasion above the bridge of McCline's nose <laughs> on the right side. Product to one of those Klitschko left hooks. You're doing very good. With his leading hand, go to the right side and stay up front. Be careful of his right straight hand. On your way, but you keep sticking. On your way. Yeah. Take control, champ. A hard, fast. Straight, left, right. The left being a hook, right on the nose. The right just grazing the chin. So far, so good for Ukrainian superstar Vladimir Klitschko in his huge matchup with Jamil McCline. McCline, who's emerged so forcefully in the last couple of years to take his position among the very top American heavyweights, but Klitschko cruising in the first four rounds to an easy boxing superiority over Jamil. Now he's using the left jab, Klitschko. He can take control with that left jab if he so desires. Vladimir has a terrific long jab, and of course the laser right to come behind it. Klein is looking for some win in this arena. Maybe that oxygen tent is something he needs now. He certainly uses a lot of energy for a big fighter. I mean, Larry couldn't have said it better. Out there boxing like a bantamweight. No, 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 stop. You got a big referee in there tonight. Chosen for his dimensions, obviously. Right hand by Klitschko. Follows up with the left hook. Klein felt it coming. 
managed to cover up. But very gradually, round by round, minute by minute, Vladimir Klitschko is dialing in his power punches. Getting closer and closer to being able to target that straight right hand. At this point, Klitschko is doing whatever he wants. When he decides to fight, he fights. When he decides to rest, he rests. McCline is letting him just do whatever he wants. And a lot of people thought that McCline, to win the fight, would have to step forward and pressure Vladimir. He hasn't chosen to do it. No, he's allowing him to do whatever. Whenever he decides to jab, Klitschko jabs. When he throws a right hand, he throws a right hand. Klitschko landing a right hand on the point of the chin and then looking at McCline to see how bad the damage was. McCline took it very well. Vladimir comes back with the left hook and now hurts McCline again. Left hook seems to be doing more damage than the right cross. One thing about being a power puncher, boy, when you got that power, all you got to do is use it. But if you don't have the power, then you just don't have it. What separates Klitschko from many of the European fighters, especially heavyweights we've seen, is his willingness to throw the left hook. And he's think, measuring this man up now. Oh, yeah. He's I think what separates it. him from any big fighter is his blinding speed. Speed with the hands and with the feet. When Vladimir really gets it going, you don't see the punches coming. Sit back. Warrior. Legend. Four-time world champion, Evander Holyfield. He's conquered some of the world's best. Now in his quest to become heavyweight king once again, he must battle an opponent so swift, he's nearly invisible. Evander Holyfield versus Chris Bird. Live, Saturday, December 14th on HBO. The heart of a champion beats forever. I am the warrior. Vladimir Klitschko has a victory over Chris Bird, having won on the three judges' scorecards, 12, 11, or 10 rounds, take your pick, in easily whacking Bird a couple of years ago. Bird was lucky to make it to the finish line. The left hook that started a barrage for Klitschko. So far, McCline hasn't taken the risk in the ring that he took in taking the fight. Klein, whatever he lands his left jab, it looks like he's surprised Stop. that it, it lands so easily. Why doesn't he keep it up? Stop! Time out! You are that corner. Well, you make a good point. Jamil hasn't shown here. the confidence in himself to really challenge it's, Vladimir. His mouthpiece fell here. Thanks for telling me. Don't coach and don't talk. You ready? Time in! Box! <laughs> Jimmy Glenn observes the instructions and simply puts the mouthpiece back in Jamil McCline's mouth. <laughs> His Stop, mouth is now wide open. But my point is, George, so far, Jamil hasn't fought Vladimir like he really believes he has a chance to beat him. <sighs> yeah, he tried to fight him in his old-fashioned ways of bouncing in, waiting for a Sunday shot here and there. But this guy's pretty clever. This guy is just not going for those little tricky games. Wait for me and counter me when you feel like it. Klein trying to assert himself there. Vladimir easily steps away. Again. Terrific feet for a six foot six inch guy. Now McCline's energy ebbs a little bit, and Klitschko begins popping his jab again. That's why when you got these guys hurt, you got to keep them on the ropes. He let stop, McCline stop. recover a little bit, then the danger reoccurs. Take him out, jab him, jab him, finish him out. Ooh. Right hand to the body again. And now Klitschko takes some body shots from McCline. As Jamil says, all right, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. You're going to hit me in the rib cage. I'll try to get to myself. He hurt a lot of me at that time. Yeah, that's Can't the first time he's really attacked him to the body. In fact, one of the things that people wonder about is what happens if somebody's really able to attack Klitschko to the rib cage. It hasn't happened before. 
think Clisco made him mad when he hit him in the stomach. <laughs> Some big guys would rather you hit them in the head than the stomach. <laughs> Right hand partially blocked. That's the first time Jamil has just tried to fire the right hand as a lead punch rather than setting it up with the jab. Let go, no punch. Sit back, go forward. Pace slows here in round six. Some ringsiders chatting on their cell phones as they wait for the real explosion to take place. Back to the body by McLeod. McLeod getting closer, or closer I should say, and trying to impose his size and strength on Klitschko. If you're big, why not be a big man and fight? Six. <laughs> okay, Jim, five rounds to one, 59-55. Vladimir Klitschko. I gave the sixth round to Jamil McLean. I thought he banged the body pretty good. And Vladimir seems to take the round off. But generally speaking, tremendous snap in Vladimir Klitschko's left jab. He said it's clean, effective punching, effective aggressiveness. He walks forward and he scores as he's coming forward. Constantly gets off first. Some kind of movement. That's why Klitschko can't set up for a good right hand. Meanwhile, Klitschko seems to fight within himself, just trying to put the left hand on the line from time to time. Not really trying to land anything hard or extend himself. And McLean has been so offensively reticent here in the seventh round that Vladimir has reestablished his dominance in the fight just by sticking the jab. Klein lands a counter left. One that he, he didn't even know he was going to do it. Exactly. He was as surprised as Vladimir was. <laughs> Klein is acting as though attacking Klitschko would be like attacking Russia in the winter. Oh, that's the way he fights, man. He didn't even attack. Uh, he didn't attack Briggs. He didn't that's even a good attack point. He's and not he, an attacker. And he had clear advantages over Briggs. He's not going to do it. He's a boxer. That's why you should never try to say that big guys should be matched with big guys when some small guys are really the big guys. Sometimes you can disguise a guy by saying he's weighed 250 when he's really in his mind 170. So you're saying that the style matchup here guaranteed a cautious fight? <laughs> I would say that. And the crowd isn't terribly happy about it now. And Vladimir seems to say, okay, I'll try to give you a little action then. Take a deep breath. You're looking very good. You don't have to hit him every time that hard. Every second time, punch him left and right. Your face looks good. Come on, baby. Set him up. Eighth round, baby. Set him up. Come on, baby. In round seven by CopyBox numbers, Vladimir Klitschko, 16 out of 40.
Jamil McCline with a desultorily low punch output of only 27 punches, only landing eight. I'm not sure McCline has landed in double figures in any given round of the fight. Keeping alive a pattern which has sustained through Vladimir Klitschko's whole career. Nobody's ever hit it more than 13 punches in a given round. McCline fighting cautiously. Klitschko taking advantage to simply hunt and peck and control the bout from distance with his jab. McCline's plan included trying to take the fight into the late rounds to see if Vladimir would tire out. He's fighting a style that almost guarantees we'll get to the late rounds, but it's hard to imagine how he's going to tire Vladimir out, only throwing 25 to 30 punches the round. This guy could get tired and still knock you out with a good straight right hand because Vladimir throws it so uh, correctly. Skillful right hand puncher, they never, you, they, it's never safe. You're never safe with them. It's become virtually a one-handed fight, though, for Vladimir Klitschko, as McCline is so cautious and fights at such distance that Vladimir simply uses the left jab to score and fend him off, occasionally whacking him with a left hook. Rarely has been McCline been has McCline been close enough to make a right hand one of the options. There's one. McCline is just waiting for that right hand now and to get under and counter punch with it. Gonna duck, try to come under. Again, Vladimir tries to step up the tempo with a double left hook. Sticks the jab in McCline's face, and McCline just stands there and looks at him. You gotta fight if you want to win. Jamil McCline has fought his way to a high perch in the heavyweight division. He's not doing enough to take advantage of it now. You know, you talked about being a sparring partner for so many years. You just don't know how to just take over and take charge. You always feel like, hey, they brought me here to make the other guy look good. And sometimes it's hard to get rid of that mentality. Yeah, that's right. It's a tough adjustment as McCline is trying to go from being a sparring partner to being a superstar. Vladimir has been groomed to be a superstar <laughs> since he was 12 years old. He doesn't think any other way. Whenever you charge at Klitschko, he, he steps right back and then steps to his left. His corner should tell him, McClellan's corner should tell him that. Open for a left hook. That's right. He backs up and then steps to the left every time. So hit him with the right hand. No, you back him up and then just all for the sake of your left hook. He steps right into it. Vitaly Klitschko scheduled to fight Lennox Lewis in the spring if all goes according to form. You hit him wonderful. Show your right hand and then hit him with your left hand. If you're close to him, hit him again with your left. Different combination. Hyper focus. You hear me? Use that jam. Hyper focus. Come on, baby. You work hard, right? We in good shape. He can't hurt you. Ninth round, son. See, he can't hurt you. Let's go. It takes two to make a fight, and McCline isn't interested in making it a fight so far. Earlier today, I spoke to McCline's manager, Alan Worski, and we agreed Jamil would have to win the jabbing contest if he wanted to win the fight. He's failed there. Vladimir Klitschko, 87 out of 226 in jabs through the eighth round. McCline, only 29 out of 171. Generally speaking, Jamil has been too far away from Vladimir for his jab to be a factor. Right hand lands. Another one-two. Here comes the left hook in a minute. <laughs> McCline stops him with a jab. Man's fighting with his mouth wide open, round after round. <laughs> There's a good one, too, from Jamil McCline. 
hands. And if you relax, McCline will steal you. Vladimir steps forward and pops him with the jab again. McCline misses. Let's go, Lance. <laughs> Stop. Let him out. Don't grab his head now. Good job. Thank you. The referee hasn't had uh, worked that hard tonight. Stop. They seem to obey his words, step back when he says he doesn't have to pull them apart. That's strange. Crowd is wondering where's the action. They understood it was to be a big heavyweight confrontation with potential fireworks. There have been no fireworks. Now he steps forward with his right hand up to, to catch Klitschko's right hand. McLean does and throw his right hand. Now he's doing the boxing job. That's what you call boxing. Klein misses over the top with his right hand. Klitschko takes advantage of the chance to pop him inside with a little right on the top of the head. McLean is simply being outclassed, and he's afraid to take any of the chances necessary to win. Fighting to survive and eliminating any chance he might have had to disrupt Vladimir Klitschko's rhythm. came in and went through the motions against Lennox Lewis, prompting you to wonder, if this guy's not going to fight against Vladimir, who will? Come in. You got three more rounds of golf. You hear me? Three more rounds of golf. And you got to fight these three rounds. Right. You got to move this guy back. And you can do it, Jamil. You are the boss with this hand here. Put this hand in his face, baby, and get that right hand off. You don't think I'm trying? Huh? Yeah, I know you're trying. He can't hurt you, Jamil. You see that, right? Yeah. He can't. You're doing it. You almost have him. Take him with your straight right. You're moving very, very good. Just take a deep breath. Gompje box numbers in round nine. Klitschko, 22 out of 56, 39%. McCline, three out of 23, including zero of six in power shots. Some, sometimes an athlete doesn't know when he's not trying. <laughs> Harold, how do you have it through nine? Okay, Jim, 89, 82, eight rounds to one. Vladimir Klitschko. Jim, you know, the judges see the way he snaps that jab. That's clean punching. They see the effect of aggressiveness. But the judges also see the little things he does. He doubles and triples up on that left jab. There's a lot of combinations there. You just saw a double Stop. left hook. A double left hook. Heavyweights don't do that. And the judges see that. And this is scoring points for Vladimir Klitschko. Four, five, six punch combination. Now McClellan has got to jump right back on him. Now you don't, you can't, once a guy, big guy hits you with five shots, you must attack right after his oxygen is depleted. <laughs> now McCline begins to come forward, battling Klitschko as Vladimir starts the exchanges, and Jamil tries to end them. A little bit of life out of Jamil McCline here in the first minute of the 10th round, but still, Vladimir getting the better of him. Swelling around the right eye of Jamil McCline, product of Klitschko's left hooks. Klitschko's eyes, which swelled somewhat against Ray Mercer, seem relatively unmarked tonight. <laughs> Glad one low, be careful. 
Referee's done a fine job again. Very relaxed, Jay Nady. Yeah, you tell the guys what to do and get out of the way, let the people see the fight. Low urgency referee, I like that. Try to throw Klitschko and those arms is just so long, he just puts them up. Left hook again, started this exchange. Again, McCline stunned by the left hook. Crowd comes to life as McCline holds on and Vladimir tries to do more damage. Let's see how much killer instinct there is in Klitschko now. McCline wobbly. That, left hook, that earlier left hook really hurt McCline. Absolutely right. It's the left hook that does the damage here. McCline sitting down. We can't get Six, up. Seven. We can't get eight, up. Nine. Are you okay? You okay? All right. You expect him to say yes? Ten seconds left in the <laughs> bell. McLean will get a minute to rest. And he needs it. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Give me that bucket. You're still in the fight. The referee asked, are you okay? You should turn around and say, what does it look like? <laughs> All right, baby. All right. You're all right now. No, no, no. How's your fighter? So, the fight ain't over. No, no more. Tell me. So, it's over. Fight's over. Jay Nady stops the fight, ruling that Jamil McCline would not be ready to continue. And here's a look at the rally that ended it. Vladimir Klitschko with two vicious left hooks to compromise McCline and. That produces the TKO. Fair and square. And it was the Nevada State Athletic Commission Executive Director, Mark Ratner, who actually went into the corner and stopped the fight. Uh, and I think it was also because the fight was not competitive. So this you're guy, saying that Ratner probably thought, why bring him out for another round when he isn't competing anyway? Right. A good got, decision. The knockdown, his knees weren't ready to save by the bell from a guy who's really fighting with his heart. Okay, but he wasn't going to do anything. Well, wasn't going to do anything at all. Klitschko's critics will say he wasn't assertive. His supporters will say he was patient. Which was it? He won the fight. That's all that counts. There you go. <laughs> Win this one, look good in the next one, yeah, right? Yeah, he fought a, a, a live uh, prospect. It wasn't just some guy he just got out of the graveyard. Look at the hooks. Taking a chance. And this is the 11th round. And when big guys are usually trying to wait and hold, this guy's coming after you. And outside of yourself, George, how many heavyweights have, heavyweights have been this adept at leading with the left hook? Well, this guy's got the whole package, no doubt about it. He even showed the jab. Like I said, he takes a lot of jabs. That's his only deficit. But other than that, the guy's got the stuff. Well, if he takes a lot of jabs, will that be his Achilles heel against Lennox Lewis, one of whose primary weapons is his great jab? Let us wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> You've set up a nice storyline for us. <laughs> Let's put it that way. If, in fact, Vladimir is to get a chance against Lennox Lewis, the apparent business plan would be Lewis fights older brother Vitaly Klitschko in the spring, then a possible rematch against Mike Tyson if Tyson can win a fight or two to get himself into that position, and then perhaps the big summit match between Lewis and Vladimir Klitschko early in 2004. Let's go to ring announcer Lupe Contreras for the official particulars on the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, prior to the beginning of round number 11, the corner of Jamil McCline requests that referee Jay Nady stop the bout. Your winner, by way of technical knockout and still WBO heavyweight champion of the world, the Steel Hammer, Vladimir Klitschko! Final CompuBox numbers will show the one-sided nature of the fight. Vladimir Klitschko landing 122 more, throwing 126 more, more than doubling Jamil McCline's connect percentage. McCline just simply didn't fight as though he believed he had a chance in the fight. Jabs and McCline's brain trust agreed with me this morning he'd have to win the jabbing contest to win the fight. Miserable failure there as Klitschko lands more than three times as many jabs, throws 79 more, more than doubles McCline's connect percentage. Scorecards read 98-91, 99-90, and 99-90.
at the moment when the fight was stopped. Let's go to Larry Merchant in the ring. Thank you very much, Jim. Congratulations, Vladimir. What made him so difficult through most of the fight? So he was very good prepared and focused on the fight, and uh, he gave his best. Of course, uh, it was the right decision for him to stop, not go in the... It looked like round. he really didn't want to fight. He really was afraid to come to you. No, before he said he want to fight and he won't win, he won't beat me. That's why you can't say something like this. Every fighter who goes in the ring won't win the fight. And so you think he thought the best way to win was by not attacking you? Um, of course, very important. The risky make minimum. So, I mean, in the heavyweight, only one punch decides everything. And I don't want to prove my head because I need my head in the future. So you didn't want to let him punch you either. The left hook was the punch that nearly that came to end the fight. Is that your best punch? No, I can't say something like this because uh, it's independent from the situation. Sometimes right straight, left hook, left leg. So it's <laughs> depends from the situation. Of course, in the ring, I will never fight with the foot. <laughs> Are you satisfied that after a fight that lacked a lot of excitement for the crowd that you were able to what we say is close the show decisively um i hope the show was good the boxing fans fans uh, was excited and and uh, they have fun by watching this fight and uh, i'm looking forward in the future and to be continued from the Klitschko brothers all right talking of the future you've talked about how you wanted to fight lennox lewis but if your brother beats Lennox Lewis, you most likely will never get to fight Lennox Lewis. Then if Vitaly, Vitaly will beat Lennox Lewis, we will get our dream and our drill will be true. I mean, we want to be in the same time champions in the different versions and it was never before in the boxing history that two brothers in the heavyweight champions in the same time. Thank you very much, Vladimir. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. Jim? All right, so Vladimir Klitschko completes.